Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. My name is Kristen, and I am coming to you from Sea Turtle Inc. in South Padre Island, Texas. So we haven't done a live in a while, so I'm really excited to do this live for you guys today. Um, sea Turtle Link is a nonprofit sea turtle hospital here on South Padre Island. We have a three-tier mission to rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles for release back out into the wild, educate the public, and work towards conservation efforts for all marine turtle species. So this morning, I am standing on top of one of our resident turtle tanks. His name is Fred, and we had a little treat. We have our vet tech Nina back here. You guys can kind of see her in the background there. And we're actually going to be feeding Fred. So I'm really excited. Um, go ahead and type into the comment section where you guys are tuning in from. I'm going to put my mask on and I'm going to spin the camera around so you guys can see what we're up to. So I don't believe we have ever been able to show Fred eating on Facebook Live, so I'm really excited. I see a lot of you commenting where you are from. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. So Fred's story, you guys will notice that he is missing a flipper there in the front. He did wash up on the beach entangled in fishing line on the upper Texas coast, so not here on South Padre Island. He was successfully rehabilitated and released back out into the wild, but unfortunately Fred did wash up on the beach two more times after that, which is how we ended up with him here at our facility. We adopted him back in 1999, and he has been with us ever since. So he is missing that flipper there. He also has problems with his eyesight, which is why we have to feed him by hand every single day like you see Nina doing right now. So she is giving him some tilapia. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm excited. So many of you are on this morning. Happy Sunday. Oh, Fred is under the platform. Hopefully he will come out again here in a second. <laughs> If you guys do have questions, go ahead and type them into the chat box. Like I mentioned, Fred does have problems with his eyesight, which is why you guys might see him miss these pieces a time or two. <laughs> Loggerhead sea turtles and all adult sea turtles, actually, they do bite very hard. Um, loggerheads have the same amount of jaw strength as an American alligator. so. When Fred gets those tongs in his mouth, sometimes it's a little hard to get them out. One of his other favorite things is getting back scratches like you just saw Nina doing. All right, I see some questions coming in. Fred is a loggerhead sea turtle. This species got their name because of their really large heads like you see with Fred right up there. And there was another question. How old is Fred? That is a good question too. So we don't know Fred's exact age, but we can estimate it based on his size. Um, so our estimate is that Fred is in his mid to late 20s. I see somebody just donated. Thank you so much for that donation. All of your donations do go to help us take care of these amazing animals and achieve our mission. So we appreciate that. There are a few more pieces of tilapia here in this bin that Fred is going to eat this morning. A question coming in, would they be able to bite off one of your fingers? Um, an adult sea turtle, if they really wanted to, they definitely could, especially loggerheads because of that powerful jaw strength. Whenever we handle the turtles here, we always have to be really mindful of where we are placing their hands so we do, or where we are placing our hands so we don't get bit. Good question. And we have a special treat. So Fred just ate his tilapia and Nina is gonna attempt to give him a little crab claw here. So let's see if he eats it. A little bonus treat for Fred this morning. It looks like he's a fan. <laughs> All right, 
So that is all of Fred's food. I'm gonna stay on because I do see a lot of you typing questions in and I wanna try and get them all. How long do sea turtles live? They have about a human lifespan so they can live to be well over 60 years old. And then another person's asking what happened to Fred's flipper. So Fred washed up on the beach entangled in fishing line. He is under our platform here, so hopefully he comes back out here in a second. Um, but he washed up on the beach entangled in fishing line, and because of that, his flipper was not able to be saved. He had an amputation. That is one of the reasons why we get turtles at our hospital here at Sea Turtle Inc. is because of entanglement. <laughs> he is still underneath our platform here. <laughs> yeah, I saw someone comment, good job, Fred, and that crab leg was like dessert, and you are exactly right. And this is also a treat for Fred, too. Like I said earlier, he loves getting his back scratched. Sea turtles do have feeling in their shell, so you guys will notice Fred pointing the back end of his shell towards the scratchers. He loves getting a good rub down. Fred is uh, one of our largest sea turtles that we have here at Sea Turtle Inc. Can you guys guess how much Fred weighs? And while you're typing your guesses into that comment box, I see somebody asking, will Fred ever be able to return to the ocean? Fred is one of our resident sea turtles, which means he lives here full time. So he will stay with us. A uh, question coming in, um, does missing that flipper hinder him at all? Would he, need a, <laughs> would he need a prosthesis like Allison? Um, and that is a good question. The reason Allison has a prosthesis is because she is missing three out of her four flippers. With Fred only missing one, a prosthesis is not necessary. Even though he does struggle to swim a little bit, he is still able to get around his tank with his other three flippers. Good question. I see some guesses coming in for Fred's weight. One guess was 300, 125, 350, 150, 212, 225. Ah, Manny and Paige, you guys are super close. Fred is actually 220 pounds. Let's see if, ah, he's staying under the platform. Let's see if he'll come out again. <gasps> Yeah, so Fred is 220 pounds. Our other largest resident that we have is a green sea turtle named Jerry. He weighs around the same. A uh, question coming in is how many turtles that you guys have that were there in nets or fishing line? Good question. So um, right now, if you guys come and visit us, we're really fortunate because we don't have very many patients in our hospital. We only have three, uh, but two out of those three turtles were entangled in fishing line. Fred is one of our, um, our only resident that washed up on the beach entangled in fishing line. A uh, question from Alyssa, they will, uh, she's asking how long they live. They have about a human lifespan. They can live to be well over 60 years old. I see more people donated. Thank you guys so much for supporting our facility. Donna is asking why he can't be released. He was released um, when he initially stranded, but he actually washed up on the beach two more times after that initial release. So because of that, it was he was deemed non-releasable so we adopted fred back in 1999 he does have issues swimming he also has issues with his eyesight which would not make it suitable for him to return back out into the wild because he would have trouble hunting good questions guys all right i think i've hit all the questions so far if you guys do have any last questions <laughs> fred is under the platform um, but feel free to type them into the comment box Oh, awesome. I see Paige said she was just here last week and this was her favorite part of her visit to South Padre Island. I'm so glad that you were able to come in. Um, for those of you that are watching this and you are on South Padre Island right now, feel, or you're local, you're close by, feel free to come and visit us. Our facility is open from 10 until 4, but we do stop selling tickets at 3.15. We do require masks if you guys come in. We want to make sure everybody stays as healthy as possible, and we are only accepting credit cards right now, so no cash. 
Uh, let's see, I saw a couple of questions coming in. Janet's asking, what would he hunt for? So if Fred was out in the wild, loggerhead sea turtles eat a variety of foods out there in the ocean. Their primary source is clams and mussels, but they'll eat sea urchins, they'll eat stingray, they'll eat crabs. Um, they're pretty opportunistic. So they will go after <laughs> all of those things. Sorry, this is a bad angle, Fred. He's loving being under the platform today. Uh, Donald is asking where Fred washed up. He washed up on the upper Texas coast. So north of Corpus Christi. Let's see. Yeah, he was, um, he was not a turtle that we had and treated here in our hospital. He was treated elsewhere and we adopted him back in 1999, which is how he ended up here with us. A uh, question from Kimberly. She's asking or saying that they were here last week and two of our turtles had gross on them. Do they get released? So I'm assuming you're talking about our two patients with fibropapilloma. It's a type of virus and that virus causes turtles to grow tumors. So what we do whenever the patients come in with that virus present is we actually take them in for surgery to have those tumors removed. And after they're on about two weeks course of antibiotics, they will be able to successfully get released back out into the wild. Uh, I see some of you commenting. <laughs> you guys love coming in here with your families. You guys have adopted our patients to help support us. We appreciate you guys so much. Um, Cece's asking, will sea urchins hurt the turtles when they eat it? They are specially adapted that they can't eat those and it doesn't have much effect on them. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so you guys got a pretty good view of Fred this morning eating his breakfast. I'm gonna pull this out of the water here. Now he's gonna go hang out underneath our current that is in our tank. He's pretty active this morning. He does love getting fed every single day. So I'm glad that we were able to share that with you guys. We have some locals tuning in from Edinburgh. I saw quite a few of you commenting that you were here in the valley. So I'm really excited. We have lots of people hopping on this morning. All right, so I have some stuff to do to get our facility ready to open this morning. So if you guys do come and visit, feel free to come say hi to me and Fred and all of our other turtles that we have here at Sea Turtle Inc. I'm gonna spin my camera around so you guys can see me one more time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you for those of you that donated. If you are interested, we do have a symbolic adoption program and Fred is one of our residents that you can adopt. So whenever I end this um, live, I will go ahead and put the link for Fred adoption in the description of this video if you guys are interested thank you so much while I have some of you here one thing that I'm very excited about is we have a really popular program that we offer in the summer called be a vet so that program is geared towards children 7 to 16 years old and they come in they hang out with me and our other educators for about an hour and we walk through all the steps that are taken whenever a sea turtle um, comes into our hospital so we're really excited we are starting to offer that program virtual which we never done before but we're trying to make sure that we're still offering quality programming while COVID is still a thing it's lasted a lot longer than some of us have assumed that it would so if you guys know a child that might be interested in our virtual be a vet program today is the last day to register for our first session which is next Sunday November 1st but we will be offering that program every single Sunday through November um, some dates also included during the week of Thanksgiving and I'm going to be adding some dates for December here in the next few days so if you guys have questions about that program or you want to register somebody for it feel free to comment on this video you can find all the information on our website and we're also going to be doing a little Facebook post about that here later today uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today um, I see a few questions so the be a vet program is for individuals so you do have to sign up each kid individually the program itself is $65 but you get the kit sent to your house and that kit is it's yours to keep. Um. And let's see what other questions. We also offer virtual field trips. So if you guys have students that are in school right now, if you're watching this and you are a teacher, all of our virtual program information is on our website as well. Uh, somebody asking about hatchlings. I'll answer that last question before I end this live. Um, right now, since we are in the fall, it is not hatchling season. The best time to see hatchlings is in June and July. We weren't able to do um, 
public releases of our hatchlings this summer, but hopefully that's something we can start doing again next summer. If you guys scroll back through some of our videos that we've posted, we did do a few Facebook Live hatchling releases this summer, so feel free to go back and watch all of our other content too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this morning. I'll spin the camera so you can see Fred one more time, and we hope you guys have an awesome Sunday and a good rest of your week. Bye guys.